it's Gray. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we are checking out a subscription box that we'll be reviewing. It is called the American Cocktail Club and it is exactly what you think it is. It is a cocktail subscription that allows for you to go month to month or prepay up to a year of this cocktail subscription. This subscription can be purchased directly from the American Cocktail Club's website or you can actually get it via Crate Joy. If you have not checked out Crate Joy before, I highly recommend it. They have a amazing library of subscriptions that you can choose from. You can place the orders directly from there and you can get some coupons too, which I highly recommend. That's actually how I ended up getting my first box of the American Cocktail Club video that we're recording is actually with my second box from the subscription mainly because back when I ordered the first one we were in the midst of getting ready to move it was crazy and I wanted a drink so we ended up trying it first and we really enjoyed it this definitely deserves a proper review so if you have checked out any of my other videos then you know that I also do write a blog that accompanies these videos. So grayeyes.me, you'll be seeing a written post that will have a lot more detail in regards to this box, the pricing, etc. So when you order this box, you can go month to month or you can prepay. The box that I paid for was about $59.99 and the reason for uh, the higher uh, price range is because I chose the box that has alcohol included, meaning on top of all the extras and garnishes that you're going to be getting, you are also going to be getting the alcohol. And the alcohol does come um, in these small bottles that you'll find at any liquor store. Uh, they are perfectly portioned and you get four of them because you get four servings essentially of this cocktail. So I wanted to show you what this box looks like. So when you receive the box, you'll open it and you'll find the contents of it include the alcohol, the mixer, and any additional or mixers that are particular to this cocktail. For this cocktail called Send an Owl, we receive the Bacardi rum, we receive the crystallized lemon, and the gold sugar. The only items that are not included are uh, the lime wheels. And in our first box, we actually did receive a garnish of, um, I believe it was like a crystallized orange, a blood orange peel. So really depends on the cocktail, but in general, you're going to be receiving every single item that you need here. Let's take a look at the cocktail that is featured in this box. We are going to be making the Send an Owl by Risa Weaver Enyon. So you have a little bit more about the cocktail that is included. You also have uh, which recipe it is and also the fact that it is a five star cocktail in a box. So you have the entire recipe card over here, what is included and also the instructions for actually putting this together. We are going to start off by rimming the lip of a rocks glass with a lot with lime juice. I want to point out, hold on. I want to point out, I am not a bartender. I am not a mixologist. So we are as amateur as it gets. I am not totally familiar <laughs> with all the different types of glasses that are um, out there, but with a subscription like this, I feel like if you are really looking to explore the world of cocktail making, this is a really great opportunity because you get to try out some new recipes and you get to learn a little bit. So this is a learning experience for all of us. But the glass that we are going to be using uh, is this. I thought it was pretty cool. It's actually a Mass Effect Andromeda glass that I got from one of the legendary crates and this is the perfect opportunity to use it. So we are going to rim the lip of the glass with lime juice, and then we're also going to dip it in this gold sugar that is included in the pack. So let's get back down and go over this. I have a little bit of lime juice here. If we need extra, I'll get more limes. And then we're going to pour a little bit of the golden sugar here. Keep in mind when you are making these drinks, make sure your hands are nice and clean. Ooh, that ripped. Okay, so I'm going to pour a little bit of that sugar here. Okay. 
Okie doke, we got some golden sugar here. So let us, <laughs> let us try. So we are going to take our glass. We are going to... See, if I can make this drink happen, then that just means this, um, the subscription is gonna work for everyone, you know? All right, so since we're just going to dip it, I put a little bit more of that golden sugar. We're gonna do this, give it a little twirl, and almost, almost all the way around. Nice, okay, cool, so we have that. And then the next instruction on here says for us to place a sugar cube or one teaspoon of sugar, it doesn't specify golden sugar or regular sugar, so we're going to use a regular, uh, regular table sugar into the prepared glass, add rum, and muddle with the sugar cube until it dissolves, or the sugar dissolves. Okay, I'm just using regular sugar here, because they do not have a sugar cube, and we need one teaspoon. So, got one teaspoon of sugar. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be sweet. I have no idea where our muddler went, so we're gonna have to use a trusty spoon we have the sugar in the glass that is rimmed with the golden sugar and the lime juice. Next step is going to be to add 1.5 ounces of white rum, which is this Bacardi rum that we have here. Uh, this is 50 milliliters, and I did the conversion is about 1.6 um, ounces. Oh, if it's a little bit extra, I don't think anyone's gonna complain in this house. So we're going to add that, and then we're going to muddle it or really stir it in this case until it dissolves. So we're gonna add that. Maybe you'll leave a little bit. So we're going to give that a little bit of a stir. Again, if you have a muddler and you're using a sugar cube, it will probably be a lot easier. But again, because this is just regular white sugar, it's not so much smushing. So give me a second here, we'll give it a stir and until this is dissolved, so see you in a sec. Okay, next step is to add small ice cubes in this, in this case we're gonna be using crushed ice cubes. We're gonna put that in the glass and then we'll continue on. Small ice cubes are in. If you got super clear ice, then you can be extra bougie today. But we have our fridge ice that's crushed, so that's small ice cubes. Next, we're going to add in the boozy tea, which I have actually tasted on its own before. Um, it's quite good. This flavor specifically is the Darjeeling tea and hibiscus flowers. I think I've tasted this one before, it's really cool. Owl's Brew, I have previously found this at Trader Joe's. If you like these, uh, tea seltzers, highly recommend them. Okay, so we are going to add the boozy tea and the lime juice. So let's open this up again. You have one, you have one can for four servings, so don't pour the whole thing. Basically, pour enough to add a little bit. So we're so we're gonna pour here. There you go. Hopefully it didn't drip too much on the sides here. That has been added. Next, we are going to add some lime juice and top it off with a fresh lime wheel. So let's get that prepped and we'll add it in just a second. All right, we have added the lime juice. So I'm actually going to give this a quick stir with a clean spoon. Combine all the rum, the sugar, the boozy tea, the ice, and the lime, and we are going to top this off with a fresh lime wheel. Try again. All right, I don't know if the other recording caught it, but I made a live little, little lime wheel and then I just fell in. Okay, I was going to plant the lime wheel on the drink and then it fell in. Um, so now we made a little slit and hopefully this doesn't fall in again. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, that is it for the drink. Okay, that wasn't too bad. The lime wheel decided to flee a couple of times, but I think we've got it now. So this is it. This is the send an owl using the owl's brew, um, boozy tea. It has rum and this golden sugar. So let's give this a taste. First, I wanted to get um, a taste of that golden sugar. It tastes like rock candy to me. It's just golden sugar, so. Ooh, see, I was expecting the taste of the rum to be super overwhelming, but it's not because the the botanicals, I guess you want to call it, the the tea, the boozy tea, really does make a difference. So this is really really neat. I'm gonna go ahead and make my husband a drink right now because I don't know if you saw behind him. He's actually grilling up uh, some ribs for us. So it's gonna there he is. <laughs> So I'm going to make him a drink and then let's talk about, is this box worth it? <laughs> Cheers. Welcome. Uh, we are definitely in the decorating phase right now, so you'll be seeing a lot more behind me soon. But let's get talking to the American Cocktail Club. As I mentioned, I will have all the details regarding the price on my blog post, so make sure to check out that link in the description below. What we're going to cover here is whether or not this box is worth it. Again, for a month to month, I paid $59.99 plus shipping. If you're lucky, you can get a coupon using CrateJoy or if there's some deal happening on the website as well. So you can potentially knock that down about $10, which really is a, it's a lot guys, it is. So take any opportunity when you're trying out a new subscription box to get that welcome offer, or if there's some deal going on, take advantage of it. Really, it just helps you in the long run. I think that this box is worth it if you are looking to um, make some cocktails that are more than just the plain, you know, vodka lemonade that you may be making or ordering. The price makes sense for me. If you do the math, you get four servings of the same drink. And if you were to divide that, approximately ends up being between $15 and $16 per serving, which is the average of like a higher end cocktail. So it makes sense to me. Would this be a box that I end up prepaying about $600 for for an annual subscription? Probably not. But again, if you're thinking of uh, birthday present, holiday gift, whatever, for someone who is really into cocktails, I would recommend doing a monthly subscription. Again, a lot of the ingredients that come shipped uh, are not perishable or at least have a longer shelf life. A fruit, for example, or perhaps a, a juice. So it's worth it to get something like this for the holidays with perhaps a cocktail book as an accompanying gift, meaning here is your introduction to um, higher quality cocktails, but also here's where you can venture off next. So that is a way that I feel you can really utilize a subscription. Or if you're someone that's really trying to um, jazz up their cocktails at home, 
then it may be worth it to prepay. You can prepay from uh, obviously month to month, three month prepay, six month prepay, and 12 month prepay. Doing the math, you end up saving about two to four dollars with each tier. So it's not that much of a difference. Honestly, if you were saving maybe 10 to 20 dollars, I could almost see that. But when you see a number as big as 600 dollars for an annual subscription for a cocktail service, I would personally prefer just to get a couple monthly boxes and then collect the recipe cards and then find maybe a book. But what's pretty neat about this is, again, you can get all the alcohol that you need uh, for the particular drink and you get four servings of it. So I would count it as like getting a drink after dinner at a nice cocktail lounge. So it really is up to you. Would I get this again to fulfill my cocktail wants? Probably not, just because I've already experienced the box two times and I do happen to have a couple cocktail books that we have around the house. So I think this makes for a great gift, but if we're talking about a recurring subscription that you add to your lifestyle, I would probably pass on this. Well, thanks so much for checking out today's review of the American Cocktail Club. I sincerely appreciate you watching this video and I hope you give the subscription box a chance, whether it's for a month or a couple of months, whatever floats your boat. I hope this is something that you may enjoy trying. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I sure hope that you do. It's totally free and you just have to press the little subscribe button on the bottom. Again, it's free and it really does help me out a lot. If you'd like to see different types of subscription boxes, feel free to leave a comment on what you would like to see me review next. Uh, and keep in mind, if you really like my videos, you can also um, support the channel using coffee, which directly supports me in being able to continue to make this type of content. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Stay great amazing.